Looks like we're uh, looks like we're going live to the backyard barbecue at Billie Eilish's house, or at least looks like it. Hi, Billy. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm just just great. I'm just living my life, you know. Here, let me let me do this for there you. you. There we go. Wait, that's that's not yes. the same backyard that that dog was pooping in when you were creating your video that I saw in the documentary, is it? No, no. <laughs> it is. It is indeed. Look, well, you yeah, I'm at, my, I'm at my parents' house, baby. Look, this is exactly where oh, that there's was. the house. Oh, my gosh. It's like I'm in the movie right now. This is where the chair <laughs> exactly. That's where the dog crapped. <laughs> and the yeah. dog crapped right over here, you know? I have to say, it, it was like, <laughs> just to go there for a minute, Billy, your remarkable focus while your dad was picking up dog poop, which we can all relate to, right? We're trying to do something, and the dog and our parents are doing something else. He just kept walking through the frame with the dog poop. Yeah. You know what's funny is it started out as a dead rat that my cat killed. And then he was like, oh, I'll just use the same bag and pick up all the dog poop. So in that bag was a nice dead rat and a bunch of poop. So While you're, while you're creating this visual you know, dream of yours, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> Well, I'm just thinking back to, I re, there are a couple things that stand out when I think about you. One, I remember I was going through the airport right about the time, I guess, you were coming through because I saw, like, thou, not thousands, probably tens and tens of people, and they were so excited about something, and I was trying to figure out what was about to happen, and they told me that you were coming through, and I thought, wow, I wonder what that's like for somebody, and then I got to see how you spend really authentic, genuine time with your, with the people that, I don't know, you don't even call them fancy, but the people that really support you. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's something I miss so much is just the, the in-person contact that I used to have with them. You know, I'm yeah. sure, I mean, I, it'll come back, but it is something that I've, I've missed like most, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know, know, showing up anywhere and there's hundreds of people, but it's amazing. It's really like makes me feel very, very, very loved. So, you know, I don't really have complaints, you know. Have you become more comfortable with some of the things you were most uncomfortable with early on? Oh, yeah. I was very insecure about fame. I was really just honestly didn't like it. I didn't I didn't want it. I didn't. Um, yeah, it's it's really weird to be in the mindset and the place that I am now am now because I just used to be so not in this place of, of just, I hated it. I hated, I hated every aspect of fame. I didn't want any of it. I wanted a normal life. I wanted this, I wanted this, I wanted this. And all I did was complain. And, <laughs> and then it manifested into, just and then that. it manifested <laughs> and it just got to a place where I'm happy now. And I feel confident in it. And I, it's dope. I just, it's so nice to change, to, to just feel differently. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what a blessing to, to and, change. And you, well, you're growing up. You're growing up. So that happens. <laughs> yes. Thank God, dude. Thank <laughs> you God. Still, are you still living with the family there? <laughs> She's rolling her eyes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Maybe. Well, it, and <laughs> and recording uh, in different places, I'm assuming now. Yeah, I, we... We actually recorded this whole album in like my brother's studio, which is just mm -hmm. a studio that he built in the, his house in his basement. So, yeah, I haven't. I mean, I had to do this like audio liner for this thing. And they had me come into this like studio and like come into a booth and do it. And I was all nervous because I haven't sung in a booth in like three years. You mm -hmm. know, I don't. Yeah. Studios flip me out. I don't know what it is. I don't I don't like darkness really um I, I want windows and i want to see what time of day it is by just looking mm. outside and so i want you don't work all night like a lot of artists Dude, will just work when it's dark no i don't I, honestly the times when i feel the most inspired are in the middle of the day when it's raining i don't know that's i don't know but no i don't i can't i just look i just and you're living in Southern California where there's a drought. So we need, yeah. you, I mean, you need to go maybe to a rainier <laughs> climate. I know. <laughs> I need a rain machine. I need to just buy a rain machine. Just... Billy Eilish is with us. So Billy, I, I want, so you, you and Phineas, and by the way, Phineas is going to be mentoring on Idol this weekend. So I will yeah. see Phineas, which is cool. Yeah. I, I didn't even know that until like the other day. They were like, oh, well, he's going to be on American Idol. I was like, what? <laughs> I, uh, you know, we, we spent our childhoods watching that, you know, Every time it was on, 
Oh, oh my do God. You, we would we would vote on the phone. I'd get the home phone like, <laughs> boop, 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 over and over and over again, over and over again. And I always was like, when I turn 16, I'm going to audition for American Idol. <laughs> Swear to God. Wow. You, didn't, you didn't need any help. No, um, I hey, I'm, 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 I'm curious. And I, and I was going to ask him about this, too. If you two weren't musically connect, like I love the respect and the closeness you guys have. I have one younger sister. That's it. That's all I got. Right. So mm -hmm. I look at your relationship and I really, you know, I, I respect the closeness you have. If you weren't musical together, would you have the same bond, do you think? It's a good question. I, I've spent time thinking about that. And I, I mean, I think we would. I mean, I can't say, obviously, because it's not reality, but yeah. I think we would get along and be friends. But I, I do think about, you know, because we've actually had lots of conversations about, you know, how lucky we are that we have the same, most of the same interests, but we have enough of the same interests, but we don't have the same interests so much that it makes it a competition, which is really mm. nice and kind of crazy that that's yeah. the reality because there's so many parts of my life and career that Phineas couldn't want for one second and so many parts of his life and his career, I don't want. <laughs> so it's, it's a really, really nice balance. And we talk about it all the time about like, you know, how lucky it is and how there's so many people and siblings that, you know, don't have anything in common. And even if they're best friends and they get along really well, you know, they don't see each other and they don't do the mm -hmm. same stuff. So they just drift mm -hmm. apart. So, so it, yeah, it works for you guys. I'm, I'm yeah, going to take a come back with Billie Eilish. The bird in the background should be on an album somewhere <laughs> because that is the perfect chirp that I'm hearing. <laughs> so I was, you, thank you for this book because it's my read. It's the kind of read for my speed that I can get right? through. I, That's what I'm saying. It is, it's, it's imagery, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. imagery of her life with captions or liners underneath the photos and around the photos. Mm -hmm. And it's the kind of reading, because if I read, read, I have to read twice. I have to read it and then read it again because my mind drifts. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. The, I, the, exactly how you feel. That's why I did it. They were like, you know, because we had a lot of uh, like choices to make for this book. Could have done anything, really. I could have done a bunch of words and, you know, I don't, yeah, I mean, I can barely read. I can honestly barely read. I'm so bad. <laughs> but I also just, I'm like you, I, my mind, I just can't, I have to read pages multiple times. And so, you know, one little cute story that's enough for me. My mind wanders and I get bored. So, but do you do you like writing now more? Because I know that at one point you loathed writing, writing. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really write anymore. I, I don't. I don't write at all. Do you still I really journal? Don't. I don't. I um for for my first album, the main uh thing I did was draw, in um in my journal like i draw i drew every single song and what it felt like and what it meant and honestly for this album i didn't do that i have like maybe two drawings that i drew right before making a few songs that definitely inspired it like your power i have a drawing of a girl getting wrapped with a snake and we know mm -hmm. that that also happened didn't it mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and <laughs> so that's one and then i had like one for your fu my future which is like a bunch of stars in the moon before I made that video, but that's it. Your really, your brain kind of, works visually. Your brain works it in in images. It does, yeah, mm -hmm. it does, and that's why it's it's interesting that I didn't really draw for this one. Um, what do you I picture then when you recorded the other songs? I don't really. I think that it just was so natural. I almost don't even remember. Like, it was the. I mean, making this album was the most therapy like honestly therapeutic and satisfying and easy thing like it was really hard and it was a lot of work but it 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 just flowed out of me I feel mm -hmm. and really for the first time ever it did I did that because I usually have a really hard time making music to be honest like it takes me a lot of effort and for this one I felt like I've just grown so much as a songwriter and as a singer that I just it it's I'm getting better and better. Like I'm practicing, you know, I started at 13. So, you know, you, you see all the yeah. things that are like Billie Eilish has a baby voice and she whispers. I'm like, yeah, it was a little girl, dude. It was a yeah. little girl. She, she like, whispers. Yeah. Play off. <laughs> um, literally a little well, are girl. you easier? I mean, you were really hard on yourself for a yes. while. Are you easier on yourself now? Uh, not really. I mean, 
I think I like myself more, but mm -hmm. I'm definitely still pretty much as hard as I used to be. But but only, you know, for certain things, I think that I've gotten happier in, in different ways. You know, I just I just love growing. I just have loved it. I mean, getting older has been like the best thing to happen in my life. Um, I just love it. I think that it's so great to grow up and like just be in control of your own life and like change. And then, you know, your opinions change and your mind changes and you get mm -hmm. happier and then you get sadder and then you get happier. Like, it's just so nice that we change. I, I just would hate to stay the same forever. You mm. know, I'm watching Sisney and Tanya's eyes light up as you continue to talk about all of this. So. <laughs> it's, so ah. true. <laughs> it's so it true. Is so true. I know. I love the age that you're at right now because you're right. It's such a year and you're going to be a different person in 10 years. So it's, yes. it's cool to see you evolve. Yeah, I'm excited. I love it. Well, let me say, Billie Eilish, uh, you can check out Billie's book, Billie Eilish, out now. Her album, Happier Than Ever, is available for pre-order. And Billie, what are they telling you about when you're going to be able to perform in front of people again? <sighs> well, we are, you know, cool. there's a few uh, festivals that have been announced. I think that festivals are, like, the only thing that... Um, are the most realistic for for the uh -huh. most recent uh -huh. well that helicopter yeah. is really having a fun fun time um, birds and helicopters it's a, it's yeah it's, Los Angeles. Love this? it's la yeah. it's I, totally la welcome to la this is really ideal for you i bet this is exactly what you wanted me to do. it's perfect but, um, <laughs> uh, so la but yeah. um no september ish is what we've been talking about i mean because it's it's announced it's not a secret for like festivals and stuff so i think that i hope that that will actually happen mm -hmm. you know with this you don't really know what's gonna happen but i am very hopeful and then you know tour soon after that hopefully so psyched. We're i'm psyched to hear about that i'm psyched to hear yeah. about that. i want to see you in person again soon and uh so happy that you're you're in this place. It's great. And we appreciate all the music that you're giving us. And the fact that, you know, an old guy can relate to it and all of us <laughs> can relate to it. It's pretty, it's pretty remarkable. Yeah. Pretty cool. So thanks, thanks Billy. Great to see you. Take care. Okay. Great to see you. Thanks see guys. Phineas. Tell Phineas I'm psyched to see him. I will. I Bye. miss you all. Okay. Bye Billy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>